nine ways to step in to the dark feminine goddess energy within you. What is the dark feminine energy? Maybe we've heard this before, but we're not sure what it relates to. Well, this is the part of us that society has tried to make us hide, to make us feel like this is the part we should feel embarrassed about showing, expressing. expressing. It's parts like, for example, we all have a fierce side within us. We all have an untamed side as women. We have a wild side. We have a powerful side, but society has told us that if we show this side, that we may not be accepted. It's disliked. It's very unladylike. So we've learned to hide this side, this powerful side to us. We have both the light feminine and the dark feminine. The light is more receptive, for example, it's more nurturing, compassionate, empathetic, and it's beautiful, the feminine energy, the being energy in the flow. But also it's important that we learn to tap in to the dark feminine goddess energy, because this is the part that allows us to reclaim our power. This is the part when we figure out for example, in a relationship, we are assertive to figure out if someone is going to be right for us or not. This is when we can make decisions for ourselves to figure out if, it, if this is the right career for us or not. This is when we don't put up with any BS from anyone. This is when we reclaim, have the power to live the life we want. And that's why it's so important, my loves, my dears, that we learn this part of us that we have, that we've been told that we need to hide. We don't. We need to bring that side of us out. We need to embrace it in order to live in the power that we have within us, the divine, dark, feminine goddess energy. And in this video, I want to share with you how you can do that. Nine ways to step in to the divine, dark, feminine energy. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Point number one, what's the first way that you can step into this beautiful, powerful energy that we have within us? The first way is to stop being the good girl, the people pleaser. Put your hands up if you can relate to this, because I sure can. Growing up, you know, being told that girls don't speak up, that good girls stay quiet, they go along with the flow. Naturally, as women, maybe we've been told to sit with the nurturing side, to put other people's needs before ourselves, to prioritize everyone else. And of course, that's beautiful. I'm not saying don't help people, don't support people. What I am saying is it's time we put ourselves first. It's time we get comfortable saying no. That's what it means to step in to the divine dark feminine energy. She builds the courage to say no. Something that we can find it so hard to say because we don't want to upset people. We want to be accepted. We want to be validated. But my dears, my loves, it's time that you prioritize yourself because at the end of the day, you will realize that it's your responsibility, your well-being, your happiness is our own individual responsibility. We need to pour into our own cup first before we can take care of the people around us. So when you can learn to stop putting other people before your own well-being to start saying no. This is how you step in to the dark feminine energy and reclaim that power, reclaim that side to you that is not going to tolerate any more BS from anyone else because you've done it for too long. The next point Point number two, how to step into the divine dark feminine energy is to learn to detach yourself from toxic 
relationships, including family relationships, friendships, whatever relationship it may be. This is so important. When you step into the dark feminine energy, this is when you realize how important your peace is around you. If it's costing you your peace, it's too expensive. That's what it means to be, to accept it, the divine dark feminine energy. You realize that time is something so precious, the way you spend it, who you spend it with. You've probably experienced spending it with people who drain your energy. Maybe it could be family members or friends who are constantly complaining, who drain your energy, who are negative. You can sense their vibration. The minute you leave them, you feel like you feel depleted. Your energy has been sucked out. This is the time to have the courage to limit your time, the time you spend with these people. And I know with certain members, it may be hard, like family members, maybe we cannot completely not see them if they're difficult members, but I encourage you to figure out a way to limit the amount of time to spend with toxic people. We become who we spend the most time with. This has a huge impact on the way we see the world, our well-being. People can either bring us up or bring us down. And it's true. You know, sometimes we may not think that people can be envious and jealous of our lifestyle or the things that we do. You'd be surprised. Unfortunately, not everyone is going to have our back. And that's why we need to be really careful and selective about who we spend our time with. The next point, point number three, how to step into the dark feminine goddess energy. Number three is, this is when you stop caring about what people think. You don't let their limitations dictate the way you think. You don't tolerate BS from anyone anymore. You've had enough. Like how many of us do we live our life? How many of us live our life according to what people expect from us? A lot of us, we fear the opinion and judgments of others. This is one of the number one fears that we have. Again, it comes down to the thing that it comes down to the very place that we want to be accepted and liked by the people around us. And it, this is an innate thing in us that we all want. But however, in order to live a life authentic to you, you will need to have the courage to be disliked. You know, oftentimes we go on this journey to meet the expectations of others. I've realized, you know, that expectation never ends. You're constantly trying to do the next thing to please people, the next thing, the next thing. It never ends. If you live a life according to how other people want you to, this is, there's a risk that later on you may wake up one day and regret that, you know what, you've been living somebody else's life. And I know people who are close to us can influence, influence us hugely like culture, culturally, parents, uh, the friends, society, teachers, this all has an impact. But this is when step in, stepping into the divine, dark feminine energy is when you wake up and realize, you know what? No one else is responsible for your well-being and then no one else is going to live your life for you. At the end of the day, it will be you who lives with the life choices. It's all well and good, everyone advising us, don't do this, don't do that, wear this, wear that. But guess what? It will be you who lives with your life choices. And when you realize that, that's when you stop caring about what people think. That's when you will realize that you shouldn't prioritize people's opinions and judgments before your own happiness, before how you want to live your life. Understand living, with, living a life that's authentic to you may come at a cost of people. 
not being supportive, of people disliking you even. But so long as you're not going to put yourself at harm, so long as you're not going to put yourself at any danger, stepping into the dark feminine energy means having the courage to be disliked. You know, you, you just don't care anymore. Caring about what people think, you know, this is a life of imprisonment and the divine, dark divine feminine goddess energy understands that she's going to live her life on her, on her own terms and we need to step into that power to live the life that we want. The next point, point number four, how to step into that amazing dark feminine energy. Point number four is you become ruthless in your pursuits for your goals, the dreams you want to achieve, your mission. Dark feminine energy, she is fierce. She's a go-getter. She's not going to let anything hold her back. She's not going to wait for anyone to come and figure things out for her. She realizes that, you know what? She is going to have, she is responsible for her own life and she's going to do what she needs to do to create the life that she wants. This is what gives her power. So often, I think a lot of us, we give our power away when we make excuses, and I've been guilty of this, make excuses that we cannot do this because of this so this reason, we cannot do this because I don't have enough time, we cannot do this because I was from this background, I've done it before, I understand. But stepping into that energy, the dark feminine energy, it means you reclaim that power and you understand that, you know what, if you set your mind to something, you can do it. You have the power within you to create the life that you want. You become mentally resilient. If you've got a passion that you want to explore, you won't let anything hold you back. If you want to start a side hustle, you will figure it out. You will find a way to figure out how to make this happen. You are a go-getter. Okay, this is what it means to be stepping into the power of the dark feminine energy. You have a vision. You're on a mission for what you want. You're going to make it happen because you are a badass. The next point, point number five how to step into this amazing, beautiful, I love it, divine, dark, feminine energy. This is what makes us strong. Point number five is you start accepting yourself and exuding confidence in yourself, believing in yourself. And this is what makes you freaking magnetic. Finally, finally, when you step into this energy, the dark feminine energy, you finally accept yourselves. You know, so often we as women, in particular, I believe, you know, we have so much pressure from society to look a specific way, to be a specific way, behave, etc, etc. You know what I mean? You know, the list is endless. When you start fully accepting yourself, including your imperfections, when you start accepting yourself authentically, knowing who you are, this is what it means to reclaim your power. This is what it means when you're not going to compare yourself to other people anymore because you own yourself now. You know who you are. You're not going to be fake to be someone who you are not. You start believing in yourself, believing in your abilities and the things that you can achieve in this world. You know, it, that woman who walks into the room, who's sexy, confident, she's got a presence about her. And oftentimes, maybe the rest of us, we may look at this woman and maybe we feel a little bit envious because we want a piece of what she has got. This is what it means, that dark feminine energy. She is confident in who she is, but not in a way where she's looking down at people. No, in a way she, where she's self-assured. She doesn't need validating from anyone, from a guy, because she's learned to validate herself. She's learned to feel good in who she is by truly accepting herself and 
being her authentic self and this is sexy this is magnetic this is what makes her alluring the next point point number six another way to step into the dark feminine energy number six is to explore creative ex expressions in different ways you know we are creative beings my dears my loves and we can leave this side at a certain point as we grow into adults because of responsibilities because of time the dark feminine energy is the creator's energy creativity is at the core of what makes us feel good it fulfills us it brings us life it lights our soul so often what we look for in other areas of our life from like relationship from a guy we can find this fulfillment in creativity and it's so powerful that we don't realize that we don't actually need to look anywhere else sometimes we need to look within us and find the things that bring us joy i encourage you to find things that's creative so that you can unleash that creative side to you because that's what it means to be in that dark feminine goddess creative energy that you have within you we are all creative beings we are born to create that's what i believe that's where we are at our essence but we've lost it along the journey called life and we need to reclaim that side to us so that we can find that power within us that brings so much fulfillment for creativity it means different things for different people and we're all different and it's your responsibility to find what ticks with you what lights up your soul for one person it could be writing for another person it could be painting for another person it could be doing pottery another it could be dancing and so on this is where we find our peace this is where we feel like it feels home in a way where we can revitalize, re-energize ourselves. In particular, as women, we have a natural tendency to be more creative and it's a powerful force we, that we have within us that feels amazing. And that's what it means to step into that dark feminine energy by unleashing that creative side. Maybe it could be a way where you dress a specific way to express your creative style maybe it could be to paint a specific way to express yourself we've been told that maybe from a young age that this is something that we shouldn't do it's not healthy etc etc if we do not learn to express ourselves then we will feel untamed we will feel tamed we will feel like something is missing something is bursting to come out of us and when we allow ourselves to be free to unleash this side to us then that's how we will feel like we've stepped into that power that we have within us the next point point number seven how to step into the dark feminine goddess energy is to strengthen your intuition this is the inner compass that we have in particular as women and we lose this side to us we lose this connection with our intuition what does it mean to connect with your intuition intuition to strengthen this connection with that inner voice that we have within us that gut instinct that can act like a compass in our world to direct us to let us know if something is being right or not for example it could be deciding if we should pursue with a partner or if we should take that job when we can learn to trust ourselves, this is a powerful powerful guide that we have within us i used to always depend on everyone else but myself to for to confide in to rely on to make choices until i learned the power of trusting thyself honestly we have the answers that we are looking for 
And if we can build that connection with ourselves, to trust ourselves, this is what helps us become resilient to navigate through life's ups and downs and the challenges that it will bring. Because there is always going to be surprises in our life. And if we can learn to strengthen our relationship with our intuition we will figure out what feels right for us or not and i'm not saying don't ever depend on people or lean on people for support of course we need to talk to people it's healthy especially through difficulties but when you can rely on yourself to figure out if something is right for you or not this will feel empowering it means you're not going to always depend and be a burden on people to figure things out you become a powerful you become powerful on your own to realize that you have all the answers that you are looking for so how can you actually strengthen that relationship with yourself i really encourage you to start practicing time spending on your own this is one of my i know this for me anyway this is one of the my favorite ways to build that relationship with yourself because so many of us we're afraid to be alone we don't like to be in our own company but to listen to that voice to listen to her divine feminine goddess dark feminine energy we need to sit quietly with ourselves we need to be able to listen to what feels right or not and by spending time alone even if it's an hour a day if you can if you don't have an hour maybe 20 minutes journaling that is another way to figure out what is going on in here on here in here and writing it out writing is so therapeutic when you can just bring out what's on your mind it helps you to think more clearly put things in perspective i encourage you to build the relationship with our intuition which as women we have this and we can reconnect and awaken our intuition to help us guide us through different situations in life the next point point number eight a way to step step into the dark feminine energy that goddess powerful energy that we have within us it's time to bring her out is to decenter men and to learn to prioritize yourself the reason why i say this is because i believe a lot of us especially when we're young we've been sold this idea that we need to seek our happiness in a man this is where we we where we will find our ha- happy ever after this is what our goal should be this is what we should pursue but the reality is that most often than not, this is not the be all and an end all of life. There's so much to life than there is a relationship or a man. Okay. Of course, that being in a relationship, having that experience is beautiful to share a life journey with someone. I'm not denying that. But what I am saying is that's not everything in life. When you put all your happiness, when you put everything on hold and you just think that this is the one thing that is going to bring me fulfillment in life, we're going to set ourselves up for a disaster. We're going to put so much pressure on a relationship. This is when you're going to become codependent and other issues will arise. It's so important to understand that our happiness is our own individual responsibility and stepping into that divine feminine power dark feminine energy means that you're not going to be dependent on another relationship to bring you fulfillment to bring you happiness you understand that it is your first and foremost your own responsibility so you won't rely on a man to make you happy you will first find ways to make yourself happy you won't wait for prince charming to come and save you to do things i think so many of us we wait we wait to live our life we wait for the relationship before we can do something maybe it's things like traveling we wait to have a boyfriend before we go traveling we wait to have a boyfriend before we go to that nice restaurant to treat ourselves no stepping into this dark feminine energy means you realize that you are worthy of all these things regardless of if you are in a relationship or not so you're going to go and do it solo traveling 
you go do it you have the courage to do it because you understand that it's not anyone's responsibility and you can't just wait because you may be waiting forever for someone to come and do all these things for you honestly i know women who are in that waiting stage no divine divine dark Feminine energy means you are not someone who's going to wait. You, you're going to go do what you need to do. If, if, it, if it means you're on your own, you'll do it. You're not going to wait for a man to do all these things with you. No, you're going to create a life with or without a man that you are going to love and flourish in. And this is what is, makes you attractive. This is what actually attracts the guys because they can see you're someone who's not dependent and not being dependent on someone is what makes someone attractive. The next point, point number nine, how to step into the dark feminine energy is to do the shadow work and heal from our past wounds. This one is so important. The reason why it's important is because if we don't do the shadow work, if we don't learn to heal from our past wounds, we will always be living a life that it's not going to be true to ourselves. What does it mean to do shadow work? It means facing the parts of yourself that you believe are too embarrassing to share or express to the world. So this could be maybe it's your beliefs about certain things, your desire, maybe it's sexuality. It's different things for different people. It's parts of ourselves where we feel like we have to hide and we won't be accepted if we show this side to us. What ends up happening is we suppress this side to us, and then we have this inner conflict where there's we show people a certain side to us, but actually inside there's another part of us that's screaming to come out. So when we can do the work, find out where this is coming from, and a lot of time maybe it can come from our childhood and the experiences that we've had, when we learn to do that work, we figure out that actually accepting this side to us is what sets us free. It's a bit like when we are scared in a dark room, that's the shadow. And then when we turn on the light, we realize that actually there's not that much to be scared of. And that's what it feels like to accept that side to us and let that side be free. Because we don't really want to pretend to be someone who we are not. That's exhausting, trying to hide that side to us. Being able to explore these sides that we are trying to hide or that we don't feel comfortable to express, it allows us to be free and live our life the way we want and to reclaim that power to be who we want to be without trying to people please, to be ourselves unapologetically. And that's what it means, my loves, my dears, to step into the dark, divine, feminine energy. This is how we reclaim the power to live the life that you want. These are my nine points. I hope they've helped you a little bit. Let me know. Comment below. I love reading your comments. It helps me to connect with you. And also, I learn from you. I enjoy reading them. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm sending you my love. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.